Ultimate Kyoto Guide. 110 Street Foods. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro. Hi, I'm Akane Maru. This video is about food tour in Kyoto. We'll introduce 110 recommended foods at 5 popular tourist spots. We'll share a lot of useful travel information, including tips on riding the bus and details about newly opened shops. So please watch until the end. Now, now let's, let's get, get started. started! We have arrived at Kyoto Station. It takes about 2 hours and 10 minutes by Shinkansen from Tokyo Station to Kyoto Station. It takes about 25 minutes by train from Shin Osaka Station to Kyoto Station. This time, we'll introduce these six areas. If there is any place you'd like to know more about, let us know in the comments. First, let's head to Fushimi Inari Shrine. It's recommended to take a train from Kyoto Station to Fushimi Inari Shrine. You can go to Inari Station in about 5 minutes on the Nara Line. Fushimi Inari Station is also nearby, but Inari Station is more convenient because the entrance to Fushimi Inari Shrine is right there as soon as you leave the station. The first place is Fushimi Inari Shrine. It's a historic shrine that was built in the year 711. The most famous feature of this shrine is the Senbon Tori. There are around 800 Tori gates within the shrine grounds and about 10,000 across the entire mountain. For your information, Fushimi Inari Shrine is open 24 hours. It's recommended to visit during the night or early morning as you can experience a different atmosphere compared to the bustling daytime when many tourists are around. Alright, we'll introduce 11 recommended shops in this area. First up is this shop, Imo Pippi Fushimi Inari Store. It's a sweet potato dessert specialty shop that can also be found in Harajuku and Asakusa. This store opened in February 2023 and has been bustling with many people every day. There are five types of items, but the shop recommendation is the ice cream. They freshly squeeze purple sweet potato paste right in front of you. You should take a video. They pour it a lot and now it's ready. It has the pleasant aroma. The purple sweet potato is finely squeezed through a hole about 1 mm in size, allowing you to enjoy its melting texture. You can taste not the sweetness of sugar, but the natural sweetness of purple sweet potatoes. Underneath the sweet potato paste, there is whipped cream, vanilla ice cream, and baked sweet potato. The sweetness of milk adds to the sweet potato, making it creamy and delicious. The process of making it is enjoyable, and it tastes great as well, so we highly recommend it. The next place is Fushimi Inari Oishi Village. It's a commercial facility that opened in September 2023. There are 10 restaurants on the first floor and a souvenir shop on the second floor. The third floor has terrace seating, where you can enjoy meals and drinks outdoors. The first shop is Senkaraya and Fof Drink Stand. It's a shop that combines a karaage shop and a cafe into one. First, we'll introduce the karaage from Senkaraya. Let's have it freshly fried. The karaage at this shop has won the gold award for five years in a row at the karaage contest. There are two types of coatings, so we'll introduce each one. This one is coated with arare rice crackers before frying. It looks colorful and cute. The coating is light, so it doesn't absorb much oil, giving it a nice crispy texture. The juice overflows from the chicken. It's not just cute, but it has an authentic taste. 
This one is fried with rice crackers grilled over charcoal on the surface. It has a savory aroma of soy sauce. It's crispier than the previous karaage. It's seasoned with a rich soy sauce flavor. Both types of karaage are recommended, so be sure to try and compare them. Next up is soft serve ice cream. It's topped with a cute cookie shaped like a fox. There is no bitterness and the matcha aroma spreads in your mouth. The sweetness of the milk is just right. There are three types of cookies available, so you can choose your favorite one. The next is this shop, Watashi no Kare. It's a curry specialty shop with a wide variety. This time, we'll introduce the perfect curry bread for your food tour. It's shaped like a slender stick. The outside is crispy and the inside is fluffy. It's not too spicy and you can taste the umami of the minced meat. The size is small so you can easily try it. The next is this shop, Wagyu Sushi Roll. It's a specialty shop for sushi rolls using Wagyu. This time we chose the especially popular one. It's a Kobe beef yakiniku roll. It's not usually served in a wooden container, but if you ask, the staff will serve it in a wooden container for you. It has a pleasant aroma of vinegar rice. There is plenty of Kobe beef and it's really juicy. The textures of lettuce and red cabbage add a nice accent. It's great to be able to easily enjoy high-quality Kobe beef. There are also spicy miso flavor and roast beef rolls, so give them a try. Next up is Toriki Burger. It's a hamburger specialty shop operated by Torikizoku, the yakitori chain that has the largest number of stores in Japan. This time, we'll introduce their most popular hamburger. It's the yakitori burger sandwiched with chicken thigh meat and green onions. It has a savory aroma of soy sauce. The chicken thigh meat has just the right amount of fat, making it juicy. The sweet sauce and mayonnaise are a perfect match. The seasoning goes well with the buns, making it addictive. The next shop is Senbon Inari, located at Fushimi Inari Station. It's a specialty shop for Inari Sushi, which is rice wrapped in fried tofu skin. This time, we'll introduce two particularly recommended items. The classic Inari Sushi and the one flavored with wasabi. The classic one is topped with sesame seeds, giving it a nice texture. The skin is seasoned with a sweet broth, making it moist and juicy. The rice includes sesame seeds and yuzu, giving it a pleasant aroma. The wasabi-flavored Inari Sushi has a subtle spiciness. The combination of the sweet broth and the skin and the spiciness enhances the flavor. Personally, I prefer the wasabi-flavored one. The next shop is Kaka Itoken. It's a sweet specialty shop that opened in April 2022. There are many photogenic foods, but this time we'll introduce a perfect one for those who love sweets. It's a pie filled with custard cream and topped with strawberries. It has a nice aroma of butter. The pie is crispy with the sweetness of sugar on the surface. The custard cream inside is sweet and has a rich taste of eggs. The subtle sourness of the strawberries go well with the pie. Next up is Fushimi Inari Soratsuki. This shop is operated by a strawberry dessert specialty store in Tsukiji and opened in September 2023. There are various types available, but we'll have the strawberry smoothie. It's topped with whipped cream and strawberry sauce. The smoothie has the tartness of strawberries, but the balance is great with the sweetness from the whipped cream and strawberry sauce. It uses lots of strawberries, so it feels like you're eating them just like that. It's fruity and delicious.
The next shop is Niku no Odakichi, located next to Fushimi Inari Soratsuki. It offers meat dishes and fried foods and opened in October 2023. The meat dishes are recommended, but will introduce a rice cracker that is popular among many customers. They make it after you order, so it took about 10 minutes to receive. This rice cracker includes kusho leek from Kyoto and bonito flakes. It's crispy and you can taste the subtle spiciness of the leek. There are also rice crackers made with wagyu and scallops, so be sure to give them a try. The next shop is Terakoya Honpo. It's a specialty shop for rice crackers with over 20 stores mainly around Kyoto. This time, we'll introduce the most popular item and an exclusive one at this shop. First up is the most popular one, Nure Okaki. It's a rice cracker made with glutinous rice and soaked in soy sauce. The outside is crispy, but the inside is chewy and has an addictive texture. It has a sweetness because sugar is added to the soy sauce. Next up is the rice cracker exclusive at this shop. It's printed with Tori, Gates and Fox, giving it a Japanese vibe. It has a pleasant aroma of seaweed and soy sauce. It's nice that it's affordable. The last shop in this area is Marumochiya. There are mochi and dorayaki, but we'll introduce the most popular one, Mizumaru Mochi. It's a dessert made by solidifying natural water, sugar, and other ingredients inside a balloon. Let's use a toothpick to pop it. It's jiggly like jelly. Once you sprinkle soybean flour and brown sugar syrup, it's ready to eat. It's a beautiful dessert. The clear mochi itself doesn't have much flavor, so it goes well with the aroma of soybean flour and the sweetness of brown sugar syrup. The smooth texture is addictive. It's cool and delicious. Now, let's move on to the next area. The next place is Kinkakuji Temple. It's recommended to take a bus from Kyoto Station to Kinkakuji Temple. From bus terminals B2 or B3 at Kyoto Station, take either bus number 101 or 205. It takes about 40 to 50 minutes. The nearest bus stop is Kinkakuji Michi. It's about a 5 minute walk from there to entrance of Kinkakuji Temple. It opens at 9 a.m., but it gets crowded right after opening, so it's recommended to visit around noon. The grounds of Kinkakuji Temple aren't very spacious, so you can tour it in about 30 minutes at most. A recommended shop around here is Mame Masa. We'll introduce two items from their menu. First up, we'll have the tofu pork bun. It's freshly steamed, so it's piping hot. The dough is moist and fluffy. The filling is tofu and minced pork. The pork is juicy and it has a natural sweetness from the soybeans. It's tasty with a simple salt seasoning. Next, we'll have the soft serve ice cream. It's a milk flavored soft serve topped with chocolate sauce and gold leaf. It's luxurious like Kinkakuji Temple. The rich milk flavor goes well with the sweet chocolate sauce. The cone contains matcha, giving it a pleasant aroma. Now, let's move on to the next area. Next up is the Arashiyama area. In this area, there are two stations, Saga Arashiyama Station and Arashiyama Station. Both are close to the main area of Arashiyama, but if you're heading from Kyoto Station, Saga Arashiyama Station is recommended. Take the Sagano line from Kyoto Station. It takes about 16 minutes to get to Saga Arashiyama Station. After leaving the ticket gates, head to the south exit. Most people head to the main area of Arashiyama, so just walk along that flow for about 10 minutes and you'll get there. 
The famous spot in Arashiyama is the Togetsukyo Bridge. It's a bridge over the Oigawa River that was built around the year 870. The upper part of the bridge is made of cypress, designed to blend naturally, giving it a stylish look. Another popular spot is the bamboo forest. There is a path accessible only by rickshaw, so be sure to take a ride. The beautiful sunlight filtering through the bamboo gaps creates such a relaxing atmosphere. Alright, let's introduce 15 recommended shops in this area. Let's start with this shop, Sagano Croquette. There are six types of deep-fried foods, but this time, we'll introduce their most popular croquette. This one has won the gold prize in a croquette contest. The coating is thin, but it's crispy. It's made with Wagyu minced meat. The Wagyu fat soaks into the potatoes. It contains black pepper, giving it a subtle spiciness and aroma. Next up is Togetsu. It's a specialty shop for sweet potato desserts that opened in 2021. We'll introduce two recommended items from this shop. First up is Daigaku Imo. It's a classic Japanese dish made with fried sweet potatoes seasoned with soy sauce and honey. It's served in a cute cup. The outside is crispy and the inside is moist. The saltiness of soy sauce and the sweetness of honey are a perfect match. The aroma and texture of black sesame seeds add an accent. Next is a dessert made from steamed and frozen sweet potatoes. It's made using fully ripe sweet potatoes, making it incredibly sweet, almost as if it contains sugar. It's cool and delicious. The smooth texture is also nice. The next shop is Wagyu Okadaya. It's a popular shop where you can enjoy skewered Wagyu. This time, we'll have the Kyoto beef. It's a beautiful marbled Wagyu. After grilling this Kyoto beef on the griddle, it's ready. When you put it in your mouth, it melts away. The meat has a rich flavor, and the fat is sweet. It's a bit pricey, but it's worth trying. The next is this shop, Rilakkuma Sabo. It's a specialty shop for the popular Japanese character, Rilakkuma. There are items that are only available at this shop. Not widely known, but there is a photo spot at the back of the shop. It's a recommended place where you can take photos with cute Rilakkuma. We'll introduce two popular items from this shop. First up is the Castilla cake in the shape of Rilakkuma. It's baked in the store so you can enjoy it freshly made. The containers with Rilakkuma prints are adorable. The Castilla cake has a subtle sweetness from the sugar, making it just right. It has a fluffy and light texture. It's bite-sized pieces, making it easy to eat. Next up is Castella Manju. It's perfect as a souvenir since it comes in a cute box. These Castella Manju, shaped like Rilakkuma's face, have two different fillings. The sponge cake is fluffy and sweet. This filling is Koshiyang, a smooth, sweet red bean paste. It has a smooth texture. This one has custard cream inside. The texture is creamy and it's sweet and delicious. It's too cute to eat. Next up is Kyo Sagano Chikuji An. It's a warabi mochi specialty shop with a history of 47 years. The highly recommended item from this shop is the warabi mochi in a cup. It's perfectly portioned for one person. It's chewy, but it gradually melts in your mouth. The aroma of soybean flour and the sweetness of brown sugar syrup are a nice combination. This warabi mochi has a mild sweetness. The next shop is Jou Tatsuya. It's a specialty shop for fried foods such as karaage and croquettes. The highly recommended item is the Namafu cheese cutlet. It 
It's a fried food made from namafu, a Japanese ingredient made with wheat flour and glutinous rice flour. The outside is crispy and the inside is chewy. It also contains cheese inside, giving it a subtle saltiness and a creamy texture. The chewy texture is addictive. Next stop is Kyozuan. It's a popular shop for tofu soft serve ice cream made from soy milk. This time, we try the soft serve with two flavors. One is tofu flavor, and the other is black sesame soybean flour. It uses plenty of Japanese soybeans, giving it a firm texture that doesn't fall off even when held upside down. The tofu flavor soft serve has a natural sweetness from the soybeans. It's simple but delicious. The black sesame soybean flour flavor has a nice aroma and a rich taste. This soft serve has a mild sweetness. Next up is this shop, Koto Imu Honpo. The sweet potato chips are popular, but the most popular one is the Mitarashi Dango. It comes in a wooden container, which looks cute. Compared to other shops, it's big and has a soft texture. Mitarashi sauce has the saltiness of soy sauce, but the sweetness is stronger. It's nice that the price is affordable. Next up is Taiyaki Matsukaze. It's a taiyaki shop that offers various fillings in addition to red bean paste. There are matcha and custard fillings available, but this time we'll introduce the curry taiyaki. The spicy aroma of curry stimulates your appetite. The outside is crispy and the inside is chewy. It has curry and cheese inside. The curry contains a good amount of minced meat and has a subtle spiciness. The melted cheese is wonderful. It tastes like an authentic curry you'd have at a curry specialty shop. Next up is the Yojia Cafe. It's a cafe run by Yojia, a cosmetic brand established in Kyoto in 1904. You can enjoy eating in, but this time we'll introduce the ice cream that is only available for takeout. It's topped with Yojia's logo using matcha powder on whipped cream. Underneath the whipped cream, there is matcha flavored ice cream. The subtle sweetness of matcha ice cream goes well with the sweet whipped cream. It contains red bean paste and finely crushed pie, so it has a nice texture. The size is small, but you can enjoy various flavors like a parfait. Next, we'll introduce two shops located in Arashiyama Shoryu N. First up is Toriyama Ukichi. It's a specialty shop for chicken dishes that opened in November 2021. We'll introduce two particularly recommended menu items. First, we'll have the karage. The size is large and it's satisfying to eat. The crispy coating has a subtle saltiness. It's made with chicken thigh meat, so it's tender and juicy. It has an elegant flavor of Japanese-style broth. The next one is the onigiri. It's seasoned with chicken broth and soy sauce. The umami of the chicken socks into the rice. The texture of finely chopped burdock root and chicken adds a nice accent. It's an onigiri with rich flavor. The next shop is Honke Nishio Yatsuhashi. It's a specialty shop for Yatsuhashi established in 1689. By the way, Yatsuhashi is a traditional confection originating in Kyoto, made with the dough of glutinous rice and sugar, sprinkled with a sweet and spicy fragrant spice called Nikki. This shop has 12 locations in Kyoto, but this time we'll introduce the Yatsuhashi available only at this shop. It's topped with salt and butter and warmed. The dough is chewy and has a subtle aroma of spice. It soaks into the butter, making it delicious. Inside, there is red bean paste. It's not too sweet. 
This one is matcha flavored. Yatsuhashi has a slightly unique flavor of nikki, but this one might be easy to eat because of the sweetness from the butter. The next shop is Yoshia. It's a traditional Japanese restaurant with over 70 years of history. The fried food made right in front of the restaurant is popular. Among them, we'll introduce yuba and cheese, the most popular item. Let's enjoy it freshly fried. It's fish paste wrapped in yuba made from soy milk and then deep fried. The crispy texture of the yuba is great. The fish paste is plump and the cheese flavor spreads in your mouth. It has the saltiness of cheese, so the flavor is richer than it looks. It's my favorite food that I always crave when I'm in Kyoto. Next up is Miffy Sakura Bakery. It's a bakery that also sells Miffy merchandise and has five stores in popular tourist spots in Japan. The freshly baked bread made in the store is particularly popular. By the way, when we went there in the afternoon before, they were sold out, so it's better to go early. There are various types available, but this time we'll introduce two exclusive breads at the Arashiyama store. The first one is a bread shaped like Miffy's face. It's so cute, just like Miffy. It contains tamagoyaki seasoned with Japanese-style dashi. The bread is fluffy and soft. The tamagoyaki has a natural sweetness from the dashi and offers an elegant taste. The fluffy texture is addictive. Next up is a bread shaped like a bear's face. It's too cute to eat. Inside, there is a pudding-flavored cream. It has a rich taste of egg and is sweet. The fluffy bread goes well with the cream. In addition to the exclusive bread, we'll also introduce two other kinds. This is an anpan in the shape of Miffy's face. It's nice that it has just the right amount of sweetness and the texture of the sweet red bean paste. The bread topped with strawberry chocolate and almonds is also recommended. The sweetness of the butter and the subtle tartness of the strawberries are a perfect match. The last shop in the Arashiyama area is Nakamuraya Sozai Seisakusho. It's a particularly popular fried food specialty shop in this area. We'll introduce two items from this shop. First, we'll have the most popular one, Menchikatsu, minced meat cutlet. It uses a blend of beef and pork for the minced meat. The meat juices spreads in your mouth. You can taste the texture and sweetness of the onions. It makes me crave a beer. Next up is the beef katsu sandwich. The finely sliced wagyu is layered and deep fried. The richness and sweetness of the wagyu fills your mouth. The tartar sauce made by combining mayonnaise and daikon radish has a creamy texture. The texture of the daikon radish adds a nice accent. This Wagyu beef katsu sandwich is recommended for those who prefer a stronger flavor. Now, let's move on to the next area. The next place is the Nishiki Market, where you can find a variety of delicious foods in Kyoto. If you are going from Kyoto Station, taking the train is recommended. You can take the Kyoto Subway Karasuma Line and arrive at Shijo Station in about 3 minutes. The nearest exit is exit 1. It's about a 7-minute walk from the station. Turn left at Apple Store, and after a short walk, you see the entrance. This is Nishiki Market. It's the most popular shopping street in Kyoto, with over 400 years of history. If you want to enjoy delicious food, it's a must-visit spot. We'll introduce 21 shops in this area. The first shop is Nishiki Uoriki. It's a specialty shop for fish cuisine established in 1919. There's a wide variety of menu items, and tempura is especially popular. We'll introduce three recommended foods. Let's start with the eel. 
The large size deal at this price is affordable. It's fatty and melts in your mouth. The sauce is sweet with a subtle saltiness of soy sauce. The next one is the Hamo Tempura. It's seasoned with salt. The outside is crispy and the inside is fluffy. Hamo is a white fish, so it has a light flavor, but it has umami. They fry it up again before serving, so you can enjoy it piping hot. Next up is Hamo Sushi. It's seasoned with a sweet sauce similar to eel sauce. The fluffy hamo and vinegared rice enhance the flavor. Hamo is also delicious with salt, but if you prefer a stronger taste, this sushi is recommended. If you want to enjoy delicious hamo dishes, be sure to visit this shop. The next shop is Torise. It's a chicken specialty shop with over 110 years of history. This time, we'll introduce two recommended foods. First, we'll have the rolled chicken. The chicken thigh meat simmered with a soy-based sauce. It's fatty and juicy. The meat is tender and moist. The rich flavor is irresistible. Next is daji pie. Daji pai is a Taiwanese-style fried chicken seasoned with spices like star anise, but this shop offers a Japanese-style version. It's seasoned with soy sauce, garlic, and ginger, creating an aroma that stimulates your appetite. The chicken is moist and tender. It's generously sized and satisfying to eat. Next up is Sengyo Kimura. It's a specialty shop for fresh seafood with over 150 years of history. Let's start with the skewered salmon. It's a carpaccio-style sashimi seasoned with olive oil. It's better to squeeze the lemon before eating. It's fatty and melts in your mouth. The aroma of olive oil enhances the flavor of the salmon. The refreshing tartness of the lemon is perfect. Next up is sushi. It's a set of tuna and salmon. It comes with soy sauce and wasabi, so takeout is available. The fatty salmon goes well with the vinegared rice. The lean tuna has a refreshing taste. It's nice that the price is affordable compared to other stores. Next up is Sawawa. It's a specialty shop for matcha sweets, and you can eat in. There's also a wide variety of souvenirs. We'll introduce this one, where you can enjoy matcha gelato and warabi mochi together. This is a highly popular menu that almost everyone who comes to the store orders. The gelato has a rich flavor of matcha and subtle bitterness. It also has a subtle sweetness from the milk. The chewy texture of the warabi mochi is addictive. The aroma of matcha enhances the flavor. It's a recommended shop for matcha lovers. Next up is Yataimura Nishiki. It's a popular shop where you can enjoy sake and dishes in a standing style setting. There are plenty of menu items available. We'll introduce three freshly fried tempura dishes. We recommend enjoying it with salt because it enhances the natural flavors of the ingredients. First up is the squid tempura. It's freshly fried, so it's piping hot and crispy. It's plump and has a sweetness. The large size is nice. This one is a tuna tempura seasoned with soy sauce. The soy sauce has soaked into it, making it delicious. The texture is similar to meat. It has a rich flavor, so it's recommended to enjoy it with sake. The last one to have at this shop is the shrimp tempura. It's large and satisfying to eat. The sweetness of the shrimp spreads in your mouth. It's a recommended place where you can enjoy delicious tempura in the lively atmosphere. Next up is this shop, Hanayori Kiyoe. It's a specialty shop for fried foods. It's always bustling with many people. We'll introduce four slightly unique fried foods. First up is the curry croquette. This shop uses olive oil for frying, so it's not too oily. 
Inside, there's curry made with plenty of smooth mashed potatoes and minced meat. The curry has a mild spiciness and a subtle sweetness. It's like a curry bread. This is a croquette made with mashed potatoes, mixed with matcha and minced chicken. The minced chicken is cooked in a style similar to a thick sauce, giving it a smooth and creamy texture. It has an elegant taste with the aroma of matcha. This is the yuba cream croquette, a specialty of this shop. It has a sweetness of soybeans. It's creamy and delicious. This is fried ice, where ice cream is coated in breadcrumbs and deep fried. This is a popular dessert, where the outside is piping hot and crispy, while the filling is cold ice cream. It also contains chocolate and crushed almonds, giving it a delightful texture. The ice cream has a rich flavor like custard cream. Next up is this shop, Watahan. It's a fish shop popular with fugu and has over 120 years of history. We'll introduce the fried fugu, which you won't commonly find in other shops. Fugu has poison, but only those with special licenses are allowed to prepare it, so don't worry. The fugu meat is soft and moist. It's refreshing and has an elegant taste. If you want to try fugu, it's a recommended shop. Next up is Takoto Highball. It's a takoyaki shop that opened in April 2022. It's a popular place where you can enjoy takoyaki and drinks together. We'll introduce the two types of takoyaki. First up is a classic one. It's topped with sauce, mayonnaise, aonori seaweed, and bonito flakes. The outside is crispy, and the inside is chewy. The octopus is cut into large pieces, giving it a great texture. If you like simple takoyaki, this is recommended. Next up is the most popular one. It's topped with plenty of kujo leeks from Kyoto. It's sweet and flavorful, a premium variety. It doesn't have bonito flakes or aonori seaweed on top so you can taste the broth even more. We'll introduce another takoyaki shop that always has a line later, so stay tuned. Next up is this shop, Konda Monja. It's a popular tofu shop that has been featured on TV and social media. We'll introduce two recommendations. First up is Yuba. Yuba is a film formed on the surface when heating soy milk. It's one of the representative dishes in Kyoto. The rich taste of soybeans fills your mouth. The soft texture is addictive. The sweet soy sauce and the spiciness of the wasabi enhance the flavor of yuba. The next one is tofu donuts. It's a popular menu that sells over 10,000 a day on busy days. The surface is crispy, and the inside is chewy. You can taste the natural sweetness of soybeans, eggs, and milk. It's a recommended donut even for those who don't like sweet treats. Next up is Nishiki Daimaru. It's a fish shop that sells various types of seafood. This time, we'll introduce the eel onigiri. This eel is thick and large. It's fatty and melts in your mouth. The sweet sauce soaks into the rice. It's great that the price is affordable. Next up is this shop, Nishiki Hirano. It's a delicatessen that has over 100 years of history. We'll introduce their dashimaki tamago made in front of the shop. It's made with dashi, such as bonito flakes and kelp, mixed into the eggs. It's perfectly cooked without any browning. The fluffy texture is amazing. It has a natural sweetness from the dashi, making it an elegant taste. Next up is a sandwich made with this dashimaki tamago. The bread is fluffy and moist. The Japanese-style dashi flavor from the dashimaki tamago soaks into the bread, making it delicious. The combination of ketchup and mayonnaise sauce has a nice accent. The size is large, but the texture is light, making it easy to eat. 
The next shop is located about a five minute walk from Nishiki Market. It's called Kyoto Tako Pan. This shop is known on social media for their octopus shaped treat. After putting the dough and cheese onto the griddle shaped like an octopus and cooking it for about five minutes, it's ready. This is Tako Pan. The dough contains dried octopus powder. You might not notice it in texture, but there's a slight sea smell. The crispy texture is delightful. Inside, it's filled with plenty of cheese. The melted cheese and the slightly sweet dough are a perfect match. Next up is Shinagawa Te. It's a specialty shop for Omi beef with over 100 years of history. There are various types available, but this time we chose their Omi beef croquette. It uses only high quality A5 and A4 grade meat. The fat of meat soaks into the potatoes, giving it a rich flavor. The potatoes are moist and smooth. It's a luxurious croquette. Next up is Snoopy Chaya. It's a shop selling Snoopy merchandise and sweets, and there are five stores in popular tourist spots in Japan. This time, we'll introduce four items, including exclusive sweets and popular items available only here. First up is the Snoopy Yaki. It's a special dessert that you can only enjoy at shops in Hokkaido and Nishiki Market. It's shaped like Snoopy's face and it's adorable. The dough is thin and crispy, similar to taiyaki. Inside, there's custard cream. The sweet and creamy texture is addictive. In addition to the custard cream option, there's also sweet red bean paste with a nice texture and natural sweetness. Both fillings are great. Next up is the pudding, available only at this shop. It's hojicha, roasted green tea flavored pudding topped with a milk flavored sauce. There's a subtle bitterness from the hojicha, but the sweetness of the milk makes it a nice balance. If you ask the staff after you finish eating, they'll wash the jar to make it easier for you to take home. Besides these, there are other exclusive items at this shop. This is a cube-shaped cream puff. It's topped with chocolate that has a cute character print. There are strawberry and custard cream fillings, but the matcha flavor is only available at this shop. It uses premium Muji matcha, so it has a pleasant aroma. The sweetness of chocolate and the subtle bitterness of matcha are a nice combination. The next shop is Gochiso Yaki Musubi Onimaru, located about a 5 minute walk from Nishiki Market. It's an onigiri specialty shop based in Nagoya, and this store opened in May 2023. This time, we'll introduce three particularly recommended onigiri. The first one is the exclusive menu at this store. The rice cooked with soy sauce and Japanese-style dashi is wrapped in inari. The inari has a subtle sweetness and a fluffy texture. The rice is soaked in the dashi, making it delicious. The next one is the most popular item. It's sandwiched with tamagoyaki and shiso leaves between the rice and topped with luncheon meat. The salty flavor and richness of the luncheon meat go well with the rice. It contains shiso leaves, giving it a refreshing aftertaste. Next up is the eel onigiri, only available at this shop. Thickly cut eel is seasoned with a sweet sauce. The fatty eel has a melt-in-your-mouth texture. If you like onigiri, this shop is recommended. The next is this shop, Miki Keiran. It's a specialty shop for eggs with over 90 years of history. We'll introduce their custard pudding made with plenty of eggs. It has a natural sweetness from the milk and a rich taste from the egg yolks. It's creamy and melts in your mouth. It's delicious as it is, but try adding caramel sauce. The slight bitterness enhances the sweetness of the pudding. You can enjoy the rich flavor of the pudding. 
The next shop is Nishiki Ichiha in Mamemono to Taiyaki. It's a taiyaki specialty shop with its main store in Arashiyama, and this store opened in 2021. There are various types available, but we'll introduce their most popular one. It's a taiyaki that has butter added after being baked with sweet red bean paste. The melted butter from Hokkaido soaks into the dough, giving it a wonderful taste. The saltiness of butter enhances the sweetness of the red bean paste. There's also a store near Kiyomizdera Temple, so we'll introduce it later. Next up is Kaisen Hotate Center. It's a shop that grills and serves various seafood like oysters and sea urchin. This time, we'll have the highly recommended skewered scallops. Let's have it freshly grilled. It has a savory aroma of butter and soy sauce. The scallop is thick and has a plump texture. The sweetness of the butter and the saltiness of the soy sauce are fantastic. It's a flavor that makes you crave a beer. Next is this shop, Hamohide. It's a specialty seafood grilling shop, and their most popular menu is the grilled shrimp. The large and thick shrimps at this price are affordable. It has a sweet taste and is delicious. It's recommended to try it with a sprinkle of lemon or salt. Next up is Kari Kari Hakase. It's a takoyaki shop bustling with many people in Nishiki Market. We'll introduce the classic takoyaki. The price is a great deal because it comes with six large size takoyaki. The outside is crispy and the inside has a melty texture. The sauce has a spicy and rich flavor. It's affordable, but it uses large cuts of octopus. It comes with mayonnaise, so you can enjoy a creamy texture. Just be careful, the takoyaki is piping hot, so be sure not to burn yourself. The last place we'll introduce at Nishiki Market is Kyo no Onikudokoro Hiro. It's a famous shop in Kyoto that operates more than 10 stores, including yakiniku restaurants. This time, we'll have two menu items it's steak skewer and beef sushi. Let's start with the steak skewer. It's fatty and tender. It's seasoned with salt and spices, so you can taste the rich flavor of meat even more. The beef sushi is exclusive to this place. Once you put it in your mouth, it melts. The spiciness of wasabi and gochujang has a nice accent. It's luxurious sushi. By the way, this shop is also near the JR Line west gate of Kyoto Station. This store mainly sells bento boxes, making it a great option for when you ride on the Shinkansen. We'll introduce two types from them. First up is their most popular one, the yakiniku bento. The savory aroma from the sauce stimulates your appetite. The meat is fatty and has a melt-in-your-mouth texture. The sweetness and texture of the onions add a nice accent. The rich sauce soaks into the rice, making it delicious. Next is a luxurious bento with a large piece of meat on top. It has a nice aroma of garlic. It's lean meat, so it has a good texture and it's juicy. You can taste the rich flavor of the meat. Both bentos are great, but if you don't like fatty meat, this one is recommended. All right. Let's finish the food tour at Nishiki Market and go to the newly opened spot. Next up is Nintendo Kyoto. It's about a 5-minute walk from Nishiki Market. Nintendo Kyoto is located on the 7th floor of Kyoto Takashimaya. There's a large Mario statue near the entrance on the 1st floor, which is a popular photo spot. This is Nintendo Kyoto, which opened in October 2023. It's a specialty store for Nintendo character merchandise, and it's only found in three locations in Japan, Shibuya, Osaka, and Kyoto. There are also items only available at Kyoto store. On the rooftop, there's a special photo spot exclusive to this store, 
not found in Shibuya or Osaka stores. You can take pictures with Mario. The staff will take your picture for free, so don't worry even if you come alone. It's close to Nishiki Market, so be sure to go there. Alright, let's move on to the next area. The last place is the most popular tourist spot in Kyoto, Kiyomizudera Temple. If you go to Kiyomizudera Temple from Kyoto Station, it's better to take a taxi or a bus. It takes about 30 minutes by bus. By the way, Kyoto has fewer train routes so people often travel by bus. When you take the bus, please check the number on the sign. If you check which bus to take, Google Maps will be useful. When you search for your destination, it will show you the bus number. You can avoid getting on the wrong bus by taking the one with the same number. The closest bus stop to Kiyomizudera Temple is Kiyomizumichi. It takes about a 10-minute walk to get to Kiyomizudera Temple from there. The uphill continues, but the view is beautiful, so just walking is enjoyable. This is the entrance to Kiyomizudera Temple. It costs 400 yen to enter. It gets crowded during the day, so it's better to come around 6 a.m. Most shops aren't open in the morning, but Starbucks opens at 8 a.m. It's a rare store that is designed in a Japanese style. This Starbucks is the only place in the world where you can sit on tatami mats and enjoy your coffee. It's a relaxing atmosphere. Starbucks is also recommended, but will introduce another coffee shop that often has long lines. It's Arabica Kyoto. It's a popular coffee brand in Kyoto, currently with three stores there, and also has branches in the US, the UK, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East. They use special espresso machines that allow adjustments for factors like extraction temperature and water quantity. This time, we'll introduce their most popular drink using it. It's the carefully made cafe latte prepared by barista, one cup at a time. The hard pattern is adorable. It has the bitterness of coffee, but the sweetness of milk gives it a mild flavor. The aroma is really nice. After waiting in line, it took about 30 minutes to get our coffee, but it's worth the wait. Next stop is this shop, Surya Chosei. It's a specialty store for Japanese sweets that opened in July 2023. We'll introduce an ice cream from this shop. There are three types available, but this time we chose matcha flavor. Ice cream and shiratama dumplings are sandwiched between two colored monaka. The subtle bitterness of matcha goes well with the sweetness of the milk. Shiratama dumplings have a chewy texture. The arari rice crackers and the monaka have a great crispy texture. Next up is Liberté Patisserie Boulangerie. It's a specialty store for cutlets and croissant, opened in April 2023. It's popular on social media because it's colorful and stylish. This time, we'll have a particularly recommended croissant. It's made with French butter and baked with raspberry jam inside. It's crispy and spreads the sweetness of butter with every bite. The raspberry jam has just the right tartness, giving it a fruity flavor. It's larger in size, but the light texture make it easy to eat. Next stop is Yatai Yokocho. You can have teppanyaki foods like beef and seafood. This time, we chose the Wagyu skewer that is popular among many customers. The pleasant aroma of sweet sauce stimulates your appetite. It has a nice texture and is juicy. The sauce is fruity. We'll introduce more luxurious meat dishes later, so stay tuned. Next stop is Ito Kyueman. It's a matcha specialty shop with 10 stores in Kyoto, founded in 1832. We introduced their ice cream, which is trending on social media. 
we chose the strawberry flavor among five options. The matcha flavored ice cream is coated with strawberry chocolate and topped with frozen strawberries and raspberries. The combination of tartness from the berries and the sweetness of the strawberry chocolate is perfect. The matcha ice cream is not too bitter, the sweetness is just right. It's a luxurious ice cream topped with milk, chocolate, and whipped cream, allowing you to enjoy various flavors. Next is this shop, Misu Irote. There are various options like tea and lattes, but their fried food are particularly popular. This time, we'll introduce the cheese menchikatsu. The size is large, so it's satisfying to eat. The breadcrumbs are coarse, giving it a crispy texture. Inside, there is plenty of cheese. It melts and has a rich flavor. The minced meat is juicy. Next is this shop, Kyo Baum. It's a specialty shop for Baum Kuchen that uses ingredients from Kyoto and also has stores in Arashiyama and Kyoto Tower. We'll introduce a Baum Kuchen cut into easy-to-eat portions. The Baum Kuchen at this shop is made of two layers, one with matcha dough and the other with soy milk. It has a subtle bitterness from the matcha and a mild sweetness from the soy milk. The texture is moist and fluffy. The outside is coated with a fondant made from matcha and sugar, adding sweetness. It's nice that you can easily enjoy matcha sweets. Next stop is Kyo Yasaka Pudding. It's a pudding specialty shop that opened in 2019 and has been frequently featured on TV. We'll introduce the most popular one among the six types, the Kyo Yasaka Pudding. The pudding comes in a jar and features different flavors in two layers, top and bottom. It looks cute! The top layer is honey lemon flavored jelly. The round shaped one is mango flavored jelly. The refreshing taste of lemon and the sweetness of mango are a perfect match. The bottom layer of pudding has plenty of vanilla beans, giving it a pleasant aroma. It has the natural sweetness of eggs and milk. It's not just cute, but the taste is authentic. Next stop is Arashiyama Sousuke. It's a popular shop in Arashiyama, and this store opened in 2023. This time, we'll introduce an onigiri. It's wrapped with seaweed and thinly cooked egg around teriyaki chicken. The teriyaki chicken is savory and seasoned with a sweet sauce. Mayonnaise sauce is also added, so it's creamy. The rice and egg are fluffy, giving it a delightful texture. Next is this shop, Chigiria. It opened in 2017. There are shumai, steamed dumpling, and deep-fried octopus surimi. But this time, we chose freshly steamed shumai. Let's try it with the ponzu sauce made from soy sauce and citrus juice. This shumai is made with Kyoto pork produced in Kyoto. The meat is tender and sweet. You can taste the sweetness of onions and the umami of shiitake mushrooms. It's also recommended to eat it with karashi mustard. The spiciness enhances the flavor. The size is large, so it's satisfying to eat. Next up is matcha dough. It's a specialty shop for matcha sweets, opened in 2021. We'll introduce the most popular matcha soft serve ice cream. It uses premium Uji matcha produced in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. The refreshing aroma from the tea leaves is wonderful. It has not just the right amount of bitterness but also richness. It's not too sweet and has an elegant flavor. It comes with a snack containing matcha cream. It's sweet and goes well with the soft serve. Next up is Doi Shibazuke Honpo, a specialty store for pickles. There are various types, 
but we'll introduce a cucumber on a skewer that is perfect for a food tour. It's soaked in a Japanese-style broth and sesame oil, giving it a wonderful aroma. It's pickled with chili peppers, so it has just the right amount of spiciness. The crispy texture is addictive. Next up is tamago parlor. It's a specialty shop for desserts that uses eggs. The pudding is also popular, but this time we'll introduce this drink. It's topped with a cherry and it's ready. It's a cream soda topped with egg-flavored ice cream. It's cute, so it's popular on social media. The soda has a sweet melon flavor. The cherry is sweet with plenty of juice. The ice cream uses premium eggs from Kyoto, giving it a rich yolk flavor. The natural sweetness from eggs and milk makes the aftertaste refreshing. Next up is Kiraku an Okamoto. It's a shop where you can enjoy fried foods and soft serve ice cream, bustling with many customers. We'll introduce two items from this shop. First up is Maikohan Yaki. It's shaped like a Maiko, entertaining guests at Kyoto banquets. The dough is thin, crispy, and has a texture like a cookie. There are three flavors for the filling, but this time we chose sweet red bean paste. The sweetness and the texture of the beans are nice. Next up is the croquette. It's freshly fried, so it's piping hot and the coating is crispy. The potatoes inside have a smooth and melt-in-your-mouth texture. It's a croquette where you can taste the richness of beef and the sweetness of potatoes. Next up is Kyo Sampo, a Japanese sweet shop. The retro-style store looks really cool. There are various items available, but we'll introduce this dango. It's cute, so it's trending on social media. Inside this tube, there is mitarashi dango sprinkled with matcha powder. Let's add plenty of matcha powder on dango. The sweet and salty flavor of mitarashi and the bitterness of matcha are a perfect match. The aroma of matcha is refreshing. It's an authentic Japanese flavor. Next up is Cafe Otowa. It's a cafe that opened in 2016. The dishes using ingredients of Kyoto are popular, but this time we'll introduce the Kiyomizu dog. It's a hot dog with a Japanese variation on a French-style hot dog. The sausage is wrapped in a fluffy baguette. It's seasoned with ketchup and mustard, giving it a refreshing tartness from the tomato and a spiciness from the mustard. The sauces is juicy and has a rich flavor. The size is large, so it's just perfect for lunch. Next up is this shop, Hisaya Cafe. It's a cafe that opened in 2019 and is famous for roasted chestnuts. There are plenty of sweets made with chestnuts, but this time we'll have this one. It's a daifuku, wrapped with chestnuts in mochi. The mochi has a nice chewy texture. Inside, there is whipped cream, white bean paste, and chestnut. The chestnut is moist and sweet. It has a melt-in-your-mouth texture. The next shop is Goncha. It's a cafe with over 1,800 stores around the world, but this store is the only one with a retro Japanese-style exterior. This time, we'll introduce a drink exclusive to this store. It combines uji matcha from Kyoto and milk. It has the bitterness of matcha, but there is also the sweetness of milk. You can taste a refreshing matcha flavor. Also, the drink with brown sugar syrup is exclusive to this store, so be sure to give it a try. Next stop is Mori Tokikan. There are souvenirs, but steamed foods are popular. This time, we'll introduce two items. 
First, we'll try the fish paste mixed with potatoes and butter. The plum texture is addictive. The sweetness from the butter spreads in your mouth. The texture of potatoes add a nice accent. The next is a Chinese steamed bun filled with Kyoto beef. The freshly steamed dough is fluffy and moist. Inside there is Kyoto beef simmered in soy sauce and sugar, along with carrots and burdock root. The fat of the meat soaks into the vegetables, making it delicious. The vegetables have a crispy texture. The next shop is Aizando. It's a combined cafe and souvenir shop, offering a wide variety of dishes. We'll introduce the rice burger. It's sandwiched with freshly grilled steak, so it's luxurious. The outside of the rice is crispy and the inside is chewy. The steak is tender and juicy. The sauce, made with tomato and garlic, has a rich flavor. It's delicious and the size is large, so it's perfect. Next up is Snoopy Chocolat. There are Snoopy merchandise and chocolate sweets. There is also an eating space at the back of the store. We'll introduce the gelato from this shop. You can combine 7 flavors of gelato and 5 flavors of chocolate. This time, we chose milk, chocolate, and chocolate mint flavor ice cream. The waffle cone is coated with chocolate and decorated with colorful Arari rice crackers. The chocolate mint flavor has a refreshing aroma, and the sweetness from the chocolate chips adds a nice accent. It has a subtle sweetness of milk. The chocolate has sweetness and a nice cocoa aroma. There are also strawberry and matcha flavored ice creams, so enjoy your favorite combination. Next stop is Kiyomizu Kyoami. A popular item at this shop is the Yatsuhashi Chu. The spice called Nikki, used in the Kyoto specialty confectionery Yatsuhashi, is contained in the dough. It has a pleasant aroma similar to cinnamon. There are two types of fillings, vanilla cream and matcha cream, but this time we chose matcha cream. The rich matcha cream and the crispy dough are a perfect match. It's not too sweet and offers an elegant taste. Next up is Shichimiya Honpo. This shop sells the spice called shichimi, made with chili peppers, and has over 360 years of history. We'll introduce the limited time food for the cold season, the pork bun. It's blended with the shop's original shimi. It has a spicy aroma. The dough is moist and fluffy. The pork with the spiciness from the chili peppers is great. It has a rich flavor and is juicy. It's not as spicy as it looks, so even those who don't like spicy food can enjoy it. Next is this shop, Itoken Soso. There are a variety of sweets that are popular on social media. This time, we'll introduce two types of foods. First up is a skewer with four different Japanese sweets. It has chewy konashi with matcha and red bean flavors, yuzu jelly, and castella cake with soybean flour flavor, all in one skewer. It's nice that you can enjoy various flavors at once. Next up is a Castella cake topped with whipped cream. It's shaped like numbers, which is cute. Let's put plenty of whipped cream on it and eat. The cream has a natural sweetness of milk, but it's not too sweet, giving it a refreshing aftertaste. The Castella cake is fluffy with a rich egg flavor. It's recommended because it looks cute and tastes delicious. Next stop is this shop, Fujinami. It's a specialty store for matcha and Japanese sweets, and their most popular item is Mitarashi Dango. Let's have some freshly grilled dango. It has a savory aroma of soy sauce and lightly browned mochi. 
it's recommended to try it without the soybean flour at first. The salty taste of soy sauce goes well with the mochi. The slight bitterness from the grilled dango is nice. Adding soybean flour enhances the aroma even more. This mitarashi dango has a subtle sweetness and an elegant taste. The price is affordable, making it easy to try. Next is Mamemono to Taiyaki Kiyomizdera Store. It's a taiyaki specialty shop, introduced earlier at Nishiki Market, and this store opened in April 2023. The previously mentioned taiyaki is also recommended, but we'll introduce the one exclusive to Kiyomizdera Store. It's a matcha flavored taiyaki. The dough contains high quality uji matcha, so it has a pleasant aroma. The outside is crispy and the inside is fluffy. The custard cream has plenty of matcha as well. The sweetness of the custard cream and the subtle bitterness of matcha are a perfect match. The melt in your mouth texture is fantastic. It's only available at this store, so be sure to give it a try. The last one is Neshinya. It's a specialty restaurant for Wagyu dishes with a wide variety of menu items. We'll introduce the Wagyu sushi made with Kyoto beef. It's beautiful marbled Wagyu. It's placed on a shrimp cracker, which you can also eat. The meat is tender and melts in your mouth. The fat is sweet and enhances the rich flavor of the meat. The spiciness of wasabi adds a nice accent. It's great to easily enjoy premium wagyu. We're looking for members to support this channel. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.